Have you ever caught yourself saying, maybe I am just overreacting, or it is not a big deal, I am being too sensitive, or example of statement you may have said, what if I told you that could indicate something more serious? It is known as self-gaslighting. Yes, exactly. People frequently tell us about gaslighting. But what about when we do it to ourselves? We are delving deeply into this absurd phenomenon today, including how it affects your mental health and why you can be unknowing, wrapping your own reality. Now, let us first understand what gaslighting is. Imagine being constantly questioned about what you know, feel, or recall. You gradually begin to doubt yourself and believe that you cannot rely on your own judgment. However, what occurs if you are the one deceiving yourself? Self-gaslighting is what that is. Imagine being constantly questioned about your memories, emotions, or knowledge. A type of psychological manipulation known as gaslighting occurs when someone tries to persuade you that your reality is incorrect. The catch is that it is known as self-gaslighting. When you do it to yourself, furthermore, it is more prevalent than you might imagine. The question, why would somebody gaslight themselves? Maybe on your mind, gradually speaking, it is not deliberate. Self-gaslighting frequently results from ingrained insecurities or self-doubt. Perhaps it stems from a toxic relationship or a critical parent who told you repeatedly that your feelings weren't real. You gradually begin to doubt yourself and persuade yourself that you are the issue even when you are not. Now let's examine some signs that you may be gaslighting yourself. Listen carefully because you may be in some of these situations. Sign 1. Don't play in your emotions. When you are feeling angry, irritated or even hurt, do you ever convince yourself that it is not a big problem or that you should not feel this way? A classic indication of self-gaslighting is this in a sense um, you're telling yourself that your feelings aren't important enough to acknowledge this causes a disconnect between your feelings and the feelings you allow yourself to experience sign two constantly blaming yourself another significant one is blaming yourself for everything including circumstances beyond your control even when they have done nothing wrong self gaslighters frequently convince themselves it is always my fault or i am just not good enough you constantly feeling accountable for things that aren't your duty because of this mental trap. Sign 3. Minimizing your achievements. Let's discuss our accomplishments. Have you ever minimized a victory by claiming that anyone could have done it? Or, oh, it was just luck? It is also self gaslighting. It would be equivalent to denying oneself the opportunity to feel proud of your accomplishment. As a result, you develop a skewed perception of yourself over time, believing that you are less than when in fact you are not. Now inhale deeply. If any of this sound familiar, you are not broken or are you alone? self gaslighting is not a sign of weakness rather it is frequently a thought practice and a survival strategy the good news is that you can unlearn it so how can you begin to liberate yourself let's discuss a few steps that can significantly impact your ability to rediscover who you really are step one Start noticing your inner dialogue. Start by listening to your inner voice. 
Be mindful of the times you deny your emotion or question your reality. The first step in altering any behavior is raising awareness. Simple ask yourself, am I repeating something I have been taught or is this a true belief of mine? This little query has the power to reveal an entirely other point of view. Step 2. Practicing validating your feelings. Next, work on confronting your emotion. Give yourself permission to feel depressed, irate, or frustrated. Say something like, my feelings are real and they matter, or it is okay to feel this way. This may seem straightforward, yet it's gradually fostering an inner sense of trust. Step 3. Reframe your self-talk. Face those self-depreciating ideas. Try thinking, I made a mistake and that's okay, rather than I am such an idiot. Although this change may seem straight at first, it is similar to strengthening a muscle. You will begin to observe how your self-talk evolve with time. Little changes will start to appear as you follow these steps. You will begin to see yourself in a new light with greater empathy and comprehension. Keep in mind that escaping self-gas lighting is a process that takes time. However, Every action you take is a triumph that brings you one step closer to your true self. Therefore, take a moment next time you find yourself questioning your reality or feeling too sensitive. Remember that your emotions are real. You don't have to minimize your feelings or minimize your accomplishment. You are worthy of having a clear and self-assured view of oneself. I appreciate you coming along on this path of self-awareness and recovery. Although it is only the first step, recognizing self gaslighting is a potent first step in taking back your reality. If this video was useful to you, think about subscribing for additional updates. Never forget that you are sufficient in your current state.